It's like the product, it's, oh my God. Ah, lips, teeth, tip of the tongue, roof of the mouth. What's up guys, welcome back. So two things right out of the gate. My lips, yes, I did just get them redone. That is why there is bruising and such. You'll see it even more in Wednesday's video because I filmed out of order. And the second thing is they will not remain this large. They are so swollen. I know they look ridiculous. We're just gonna try and move on. <laughs> Yeah, the bruises went from like non-existent to blue to like kind of green gray today. It's really, really cute. So anyway, guys, I was looking at the bag of empties that I keep in my closet and I scrolled back on my channel and I was like, we haven't done an empties in eight months. <laughs> That's a record for me, honestly. And I don't even know what's in my empties bag anymore. It's been that long that I, it's going to be a surprise even to me. So you guys know how empties work. I think they are a fantastic way of reviewing products that I've actually, obviously that I've actually finished, but like that I have a really firm opinion on, not just like a favorites video at the end of the month or something. Eight months later, <laughs> in some cases, whether or not I have repurchased or intend to repurchase. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump into this very long overdue empties. <laughs> Okay, so the first one is actually a repeat because I still have the old empty sitting here on my desk. And these are the OC anti-aging body balms. I used these in my pregnancy, which makes me think maybe there was an empty more recently than that. It couldn't have been eight months ago that I used the last one because I used these during my pregnancy. Maybe I'm wrong, but either way, I was really, really obsessed with this formula and I was ordering it off of Credo. It's $48 for five ounces. And you guys heard me go off about this when and I finally pulled the trigger on the Aesop lotion that I had been swooning after for years. It's like $96 a bottle. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so expensive. That's such an indulgence. And then as I was musing, falling asleep that night after I had thrown caution to the wind and ordered my fancy lotion, I realized it was way more cost effective than this stuff. This goes so fast. Yes, it's beautiful. It is a coconut oil based lotion. It comes in a really lovely bottle. I feel like OC does a great job with their spa presentation of it all. It smells pretty nice. It just smells kind of essential oily and spa-y. And it's a good lotion, but do I think that at the rate that I go through moisturizer, it is worth $48 for five ounces? No. And while my skin is still super duper dry, I don't have it as bad as I did when I was pregnant. I'm not literally layering myself in three or four products at a time when I get out of the shower. My moisturizing routine when I got out of the shower when I was pregnant, it took me like 15 or 20 minutes. It was absurd and it still wasn't enough, but I have found things that I like better and I will talk about that in just a bit. But no, I will not be repurchasing the OC anti-aging body balm anytime soon. Okay, next, this is slightly sad, but I have a little bit of optimism going into 2021. The reason this is sad is because this is the Fresh Life Eau de Parfum, one of my favorite perfumes of all time. It is the ultimate white t-shirt and jeans fragrance. Oh my gosh. I bought my first bottle of this right when I started my channel back in 2014. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And I have re-upped on this several times because it is just such an iconic fragrance to me. Fragrance has been in the past the category that I felt like was not necessarily okay, but like I forgave myself for having products that weren't cruelty free in my perfume collection because fragrance lasts so long and I've had so many in my collection for so long that aren't cruelty free, Byredo, this one, Chloe, like, you know, from big companies and stuff. That said, we're moving into 2021 when I have heard rumblings, we keep talking about this, but there are rumblings that China is going to change their animal testing laws at January 1st, 2021, and pretty much everything will be cruelty free. I have no idea if that's actually the case, but if it is, I will absolutely repurchase this because it is so so utterly lovely. And I have found some things that I really like as much as this, but I have not found anything that just matches this for everyday wearability. And it's not a very expensive perfume. All right, so I do have some makeup empties. That is so uncommon in an empties video. I've heard criticisms that empties videos are all hair and body products, which does make sense because they're the things that we actually work our way through. But I did pan some makeup. So this is an empty pan of the Kiarweiss powder. And I did have to depot this to get the last little bit of it because it does tend to cling in the pan. It's like the product doesn't kick up enough 
when you hit it with a brush, and I've talked about this before, it just kind of slimes over, over and over and over again. And I ended up losing 10% of the product and it was a very, very expensive powder. And I bought a refill of it before I realized that I had that complaint about it. So I do have a new one, but I wouldn't repurchase it now. And I probably won't repurchase it again, even though it's a shame because it's a really beautiful powder, but it's so precious. Like stop treating this stuff like it's so precious. It's not that precious. And these are two Salt New York pans that I panned and I genuinely don't know why I didn't like finish this one before I started this one, but I think that maybe I should like melt it down and like combine them or something now that I'm in this like project panning mindset or I'm moving in that direction because I do want to use this. This is the contour shade. This is the one that I just power through because it is the ultimate perfect gray contour that really makes a believable shadow on my particular skin tone. So yeah, can't recommend this enough. This is the old formula, but uh, I still, you know, I, I'm still going to use it. I don't care. <laughs> and I have backups on my backups of that, by the way, I have uh, three more waiting in the wings. Three more, four more, maybe four more. The next couple of things here, I have an eyebrow pencil from Eye of Horus. This was actually sent to me, I think by Pedivore. This is such a beautiful eyebrow pencil. If I didn't have so many on hand from M Cosmetics from Thrive, I would absolutely repurchase this. It's in the shade Husk. And it's completely personal because it is the best shade of an eye pencil, an eyebrow pencil that I have found. It is, let's see if there's anything left in here. There's like a tiny, tiny bit left in here that maybe you guys will be able to see a swatch. That was it. So as you can see, you know, I have brown, I have taupe, I have all kinds of different eyebrow pencil shades, but this is truly the closest and most flattering on my skin. Again, the shade Husk. So I would absolutely recommend this if you are kind of complected like me or you have this weird in-between color of hair, it's perfect, but I have so many on hand. Someday I'll probably repurchase it, but not right now. I also emptied a Glossier Boy Brow in brown. This is my absolute ride or die brow product. I love it so much. I have tried a lot of brow mousses from a lot of different companies, especially this year, and still just nothing comes up against this. It's got fibers in it. It's the right color. It's the right amount of pigmentation and it's the right amount of hold for me. And, and I will continue trying other ones. I will always keep auditioning products, but this is still the tippy top for price, for performance. Boy Brow still wins. So yes, I have, uh, I have backups on my backups of this actually. I think that that was it for makeup. I have a couple of things here. One, I did finally finish this. This is only my second tube of this that I have ever finished. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Overnight Sensation Brightening Sleep Mask. And I use this when it's cold outside and it's dry. I use this almost every night. It is the most replenishing, brightening, most beautiful overnight treatment for your face ever. And it's luxurious to use. It has this lovely emollients to it when you put it on, but it's also, it's an, it's an elegant formula. It doesn't feel greasy or anything like that. And yes, it can be a little bit sticky, but that's why I recommend using it actually more sparingly than you would think. And then it doesn't stay as sticky. You don't need very much of this on top of all the rest of your skincare. And if I have picked, especially, it will heal things overnight. It has so much stuff in it, such an amazing menagerie of powerful ingredients in it. And it is $62 for 3.4 fluid ounces. I always say this is one of those drive it like you stole it products where you're just like, how is this such a good deal. So yeah, I will obviously be repurchasing this from Thrive and uh, I will continue to till the end of time. I give this to people for Christmas. It's truly the most universally pleasing product that I own. So yeah. <laughs> oh, what have we here? An empty of a candle? <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, I just featured this in my favorites and it's obviously a true favorite because it's donezo. Yes, there is some wax still in there and I've heard some people with some ideas on how to use that wax, put it in a wax burner, things like that. These are all possibilities. But have I repurchased this? You would be like, Kaki, it's a holiday candle. Of course you didn't repurchase that. It's a holiday candle and it's almost the holidays and you've got the actual Nest holiday candle behind you. Well, you know what I found out when I posted this to my favorites and I was looking at all the affiliate links, I saw that this is on Amazon in the large size and I had lots of Amazon points and so I bought myself a large size for free, basically on earned points from my Amazon credit card. So yeah, I did. Oh, by the way, this is Birchwood Pine. I didn't even say that. This is the Nest Fragrances Birchwood Pine candle and it is the best 
evergreen smell that I've ever smelled. And I am really pumped because I don't even care that it's going to outlast the holidays. I want it to go all the way through the cold weather. You know, it's not necessarily a Christmas fragrance to me. It's a seasonal fragrance to me. And so, yes, it is on Amazon and it's on Sephora, it's on Nordstrom, all kinds of places. But if you are like me and you have the points, <laughs> you can get it for free. Mm, 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 yes. If y'all didn't watch my candle review, go watch my candle review after this. It's a really fun video, even if you're not into candles. And I just liked hearing all of you guys' comments on it. And I learned a new word. When I'm sitting there trying to describe the room fillingness of a candle, a couple people were like, it's called throw. It's called the throw of a candle. And I was like, oh, I love that. I love specific terms for things. And the fact that there's actually a word for that in the English language just makes me so ha like stupidly happy. Ha like it shouldn't make me that happy that there's a word for that, but it's like, there's also a word for like the little wire thing that goes on top of a bottle of champagne. Like I just love that there are words for these things. So yeah, it's called throw and that has a great amount of throw and you should go watch that video. Okay. So that was everything that was living outside of that bag. Now we get into the things that will surprise me, <laughs> inevitably. And they're all in this Myra Penaloza bag. Every company sends their stuff in a freaking dust bag. And I'm like, what do I do with this dust bag? I'm gonna wear this, I'm not gonna store it. All right, the first thing in here, some foaming shave gel. Um, actually, ugh, this fell out of the bag. So this was the old one, this is the new one. <sighs> A while ago, I talked about this. I cleaned out the underneath of my sink for the first time in like a century a while ago. And I found like five or six backups of this Barbasol thick and rich shaving cream that I had bought, you know, thinking, oh my gosh, I'm gonna run out of shaving cream. And then you find out you have thought that every time you've gone to the grocery store and you were wrong pretty much every time and now you've got a ton of them. So it's taken me years to work through them, but this is the last one. And I wanted to memorialize that for you guys. And you might remember I did a sponsorship with Flamingo Razors a little while ago, and I still love their products. I still use their razors, and I still actually buy their shave gel because it's so nice. It has a very unoffensive fragrance to it. It is really, really beautiful on the skin. It, there's not that much you can ask for from a shave gel, except that it's not overpriced and it's not annoying to use. And it does a great job. So I keep buying it. It's at Target. And it's one of those situations that Leanne talks about where she's like, I did a sponsorship, but they ended up getting way more of my money than I ever got of theirs. That's kind of the flamingo situation for me. I'm, I'm now like all in. Oh. Mother Dirt, an AO plus mist for face and body in the old packaging. Pour one out for Mother Dirt because they have jacked their price up. I'm not sure, I haven't checked back. I kind of, I have this feeling they're gonna stand down on that price because it's absolutely absurd that it went from 49 to $69 for the same size bottle, ridiculous. But I don't know that they necessarily have yet. And I wanna say that I really appreciate you guys for sending me so many links in my DMs on Instagram for products that might be a dupe for this. And I intend to try them. I actually have a stash of these right now in my fridge, but when I get done with that, I will start testing the other ones. So I will not be repurchasing this as long as they keep the price as sky high as it is because $49 was already ridiculous. So uh, yeah, won't be repurchasing this. I have a bunch of them already uh, that I bought at the old price and uh, I will be trying the ones that you guys recommended after that. So thank you. Oh, okay. So this is the French Girl Rose Sea Soak. I was really into baths when I was pregnant, like really into baths because there are so few things that really make you feel any kind of good. There are so few things that even make you feel medium. You're just not normal. There's no normalcy about being pregnant, at least not for me. There are people who tell me that they like forgot they were pregnant. I'm like, I for not one moment could forget that I was pregnant. Every single waking moment and some of the sleeping moments, I was just constantly reminded. And so there was a lot of self-care, a lot of like really intentional, almost like forced self-care that happened while I was pregnant. And it happened in the form of just buying lots of bath products. And one of them was like, I bought a whole bunch of stuff from the French Girl brand. And I will say, I, they did change the packaging. It's still appealing, but it's not as appealing as I thought that the old one was in terms of the shelfy value, which is stupid, I know. But I, I will admit that I tried this because of the shelfy value of it. And while I love Rose, and this was a nice bath salt, meh. I wouldn't repurchase it. It didn't really mean anything to me. I would much rather use the Dr. Teal's, the scented Epsom salts. 
those are so lovely. And they actually do something for your muscles. Always be really careful introducing yourself to Epsom salt for the first time. If you put like two cups of it in your bath, like you'll get a head rush or something when you get out, like flu symptoms or something. It can really throw your body for a loop if you're not used to it. So start slow, but especially for if you're, you know, exercising a lot or if you are pregnant, you just have muscle aches, sore body. Epsom salt's way more effective. And this was, it was fine. It was fine, but I wouldn't repurchase it. It makes a pretty gift. Oh, okay. So this is the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. And this is, I believe, the second one that I have gone through because it is in the new packaging. The first one that I had was the PR packaging and it was all white. And I can tell that this is the newer packaging because she's pink. And I use this every single day. You guys saw my Good Molecules video, the sponsored video that I did uh, right before Black Friday. And all of what I said still stands. These are still some of my absolute favorite products. And this is a die hard product that I use every single day. So yes, I haven't repurchased this. They sent me a new one when I did that video. So, but I will repurchase it. I bought this one. Oh, okay. So this is the Orbe dry texturizing spray. And actually I have another one downstairs that I'm almost done with. And this is, I, I was influenced by Leanne. I always say that when I talk about this product, because she's one of those people that if there is a less expensive dupe for a product, she will tell you. And the fact that she spends the crazy amount of money on this product that it costs means that there really isn't a known really good dupe for it yet. I have tried a couple of things on my own as well, but this is really, really wonderful. It's not a dry shampoo. It is truly a texturizing spray and it doesn't leave your hair feeling gritty at all. It's a very like, <laughs> it's like when champagne has fine bubbles versus big bubbles, this has fine bubbles. And some of the texturizing sprays that I've used, the Verb texturizing spray, which I love the sea salt spray, it, uh, but it is still in uh, an aerosol. It has big bubbles, you know, and it makes your hair feel rough, which I do love because I have not that much hair at the end of the day, but this doesn't do that and it doesn't make your hair feel dirtier, which is really, really nice. So I think that it's worth the money. It does have a pretty strong fragrance, but I love the fragrance. Now I want to talk to you about the thing that I tried instead of this, and I have it in my hair today. It's my first day trying it, and it is the dry texture spray from um, living proof. I was not going to get there on my own guys. Yeah. I ordered the full dry volume blast from living proof after I watched somebody on YouTube use it. And the results looked amazing. The thing that they didn't mention and also what wasn't mentioned, at least in the few reviews that I read online on Sephora for it was the smell. <sighs> I feel like I say this every time I talk about texture sprays and dry shampoos, every time I decide I'm going to try a new one, why do companies think that it's in their hands to decide how I smell today with a hair product? IGK, um, R and Co. Uh, I've heard way is pretty bad in that sense. If you don't love the fragrance, you know, some people really love the fragrance. If you don't, it's someone making that decision for you. And I used this living proof texture spray this morning and I really, really dig the results. Like it's really pretty, but the smell, I was on the phone with my mom and I was like, whoa. She's like, what? I was like, licorice. <laughs> She's like, what do you mean? And I was like, it's just a polarizing smell to decide to put in a hair product. Really? You think that people want to smell like licorice? And I'm not sure that they meant it to smell like licorice, but it smells dead on like licorice. And I thought, well, it won't linger. Oh, it lingers. And my husband walked into the room 20 minutes later and goes, what is that smell? And I was like, I think I have to return this product. <laughs> It's so unfortunate. I will say that the Verb does almost the same thing, is less expensive and smells way better. And I have no, a couple of people who could corroborate that. I watched State of Kate review it after I recommended it and she sprayed it and she was like, oh, that's not a bad smell at all. I actually like that. It's very fresh. It's very gender neutral. This is just really strong and you smell like it all day, you know? And I'd, I'd rather wear a perfume to decide how I smell all day or not wear a perfume and decide how I smell all day. But I don't want my hair product doing it for me, so I would not recommend that Living Proof one. Unless you really like licorice. I don't know. <laughs> that might be your thing. <laughs> but also, yes, I have repurchased since this empty, and I still don't think that the Living Proof one does the same thing as this, so I probably will repurchase this again as well. Especially after I return the Living Proof one. I don't know. We'll see how long I can tolerate it. All right, what have we next? Oh, okay. So. I have already, yes, an empty of the Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration Skin Protectant with Colloidal Oatmeal from First Aid Beauty. Something that I did not realize until I was reading the comments in that video from you guys when I talked about this in my favorites was, 
<laughs> I think that this is a body lotion, not a face lotion. And I bought it thinking that it was a face moisturizer, but that's okay. I'm continuing to use it on my face. It's so good. It's really, really good. And it doesn't piss my skin off and I can use it just top to toe. And for that reason, yes, I did in the same order that I got the Living Proof hair products by the vat size. I think it's like eight ounces or something, but yeah, I, I bought that. And it's because this is a fantastic product, especially for my winter skin. I am always looking for like a one and done for winter skin and I'm always willing to pay such a pretty penny for it, but this is super cost effective. It's very, very affordable. So I was really, really impressed with this and it truly in a lightweight way, quenches, nourishes, coats me in a moisture cocoon that I wake up being like, oh, I still feel moisturized. And that is that is the difference to me. Aw, okay, so this is a finished, this is literally probably eight months old, uh, Glossier Priming Moisturizer Balance Oil Control Gel Cream. This was very indispensable to me in the beginning of my pregnancy. I found out I was pregnant and it felt like the next day my face became an oil slick. I've never had oily skin in my entire life and suddenly it was just like, hello hormones, you have oily skin now. Uh, have fun breaking out like you're 14 again. But this time I was able to handle the breakouts with a little more grace than I did when I was 14 because I know from experience, you know, not to pick things, not to burn them to the ground with super drying products. But the thing that I did find was that my moisturizer at the time was way too heavy. I think I was still using the Proteiny at that point. And when this came out from Glossier, it really drove me crazy because they sent it to us in PR and then they pushed the release date back ages. So I was using this all the way January, February, March, April, I think they finally released it in May or June, but I couldn't talk about it until this was already done and I couldn't even buy a new one. And so I did buy a new one, but I haven't ended up using it as much just because my skin's not oily anymore. So it's really not quite enough for me. It's a good summer weight moisturizer and it is actually a good priming moisturizer. But if you have oilier skin, this is just absolutely great. No fragrance to it. It's very uncomplaining on the skin. I do think that it does have I don't know what any of this means. It does feel a little bit like it's got a little silicone in it, but not a lot. It's just a really good lightweight moisturizer. I highly recommend this, but I won't be repurchasing it because my skin doesn't need it anymore. Okay, so <laughs> this is the Purito Comfy Water Sunblock. Before this, I was using the Centella Green Level Unscented Sunblock from them, which is a chemical sunscreen. This is their mineral sunscreen. I'm sure they have others too. If you haven't been keeping up on the Purito drama, I will go ahead and give you a brief of it here. So on Instagram, there is some account that actually does lab tests of certain things and certain products, I guess. I'm not an expert on their particular account, but what they did was they tested the SPF protection of the Centella Green Level because everyone swears by that product. I have recommended it to so many people. And what do we do? We trust the SPF that's listed on the front of the bottle. Well, this particular lab that tested the Centella Green Level said that the SPF that they detected in that actual product was SPF 19, not SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus, the way that they put it on their bottles. So that got us all, well, first of all, extremely crestfallen and disappointed. I got so many disappointed messages from people and I honestly felt crappy because I had recommended that product to everyone from the viewers of my channel to the people in my family. I swore by it because I was like, it's so lightweight, it's so beautiful. Uh, but SPF 19 just isn't enough. And I think that there are extenuating circumstances, things that I have not kept up on on that. I'm not really in the market for a sunscreen right now. I'm working my way through so many sunscreens that have been sent to me by, well, mainly Supergoop. I have a stash of Supergoop that I'm working my way through right now. Absolutely no complaints whatsoever. It does feel kind of crappy that it was just a little too good to be true. And apparently they have pulled Comfy Water as well to reanalyze the SPF claim versus the actual SPF protection. But I did really enjoy this. It does pill up under makeup a little bit. The Centella Green Level does not at all, but as we know now, who cares because it's not really giving us any, any real protection. So I won't be repurchasing this in the short term. If they do reformulate it and it's still as good, I would love to try it again. Another bath salt. <laughs> this is the Mother Mother 
bath soak. My friend Haley sent me this beautiful gift uh, from a local retailer, but I think that Mother Mother is like out of LA. Yeah, and sent me a whole bunch of stuff that was like a pregnancy self-care package, and I worked my way all the way through this. This was not just bath salt. This was magnesium. So this is a magnesium soak. It was really, really awesome. Had a great fragrance to it. And what's cool about this, yes, yeah, it says, okay, ingredients, magnesium chloride, lavender oil, ylang ylang, and kaolin clay, kaolin clay. And so it did. It, it smelled really great and it was magnesium, which magnesium, it does all sorts of good things for you, especially when you're pregnant. But the cool thing here is I can go on mothermothershop.com and refill this. Love that. I do love that. I'm not taking any baths anytime soon. Honestly, I'm not. It's hard enough for me to sit down and film while my baby naps. But um, this is in glass regardless with a metal lid. And so, you know, this is an easy thing on my conscience if I don't refill it. All right, so another thing that I tried when my skin got oily again was the Tidal. Oh my God, this thing is so heavy because it's glass. And I thought that maybe I had left some product in there, but I did not leave any product in there. <laughs> this is the Tidal Enzyme Water Cream. This was something that was a favorite of mine years ago from Sunday Riley. I quit Sunday Riley because I went to Clean Beauty in 2019 and I don't wanna like mock anybody for using Clean Beauty. I just don't think that Sunday Riley is dirty beauty by any means. I don't know what I was thinking, thinking that Sunday Riley was just like not on the menu in 2019 because their stuff is always performed really beautifully for me and I do know that there was that scandal where they were having their employees write positive reviews for their products on Sephora. I think that's a shame that they did that because they didn't need to do that. Their products are really good anyway and it kind of it kind of drives me crazy. So that said I did go through this again my skin doesn't need this and it's oh my god I go through it so fast. It's 1.7 ounces their stuff is not inexpensive and I have found like I said something that just works better and for a lightweight moisturizer um I'm not going to say that it is the most cost-effective option but man that Hanacure moisturizer I've almost finished it but I did move towards more like winter skincare but the Hanacure nano emulsion is what I think what it's called that lotion is bomb. It is so good. I will absolutely repurchase that over something like this. Oh, okay. So here's another moisturizer, a face moisturizer. Like literal, literally that's all like, that's 90% of this is just, <laughs> is me trying to keep my skin from being dry. So this is the Acure Rattly, Rattly, all right, khaki, Radically Rejuvenating Whipped Night Cream. And I got my mom hooked on this stuff too. This is super affordable and it is 1.7 fluid ounces. So it is the same amount of product that is in here. And this is like, I wanna say 19.99, maybe 24.99, 19.99. And this is, uh, I don't know, it's like $60 or something ridiculous. This is really, really great. I like this a lot. I like the First Aid Beauty better. This pastes my eyebrows down. It's like, it's like a true shellacking. They have the same effect in terms of moisturization, but this feels so heavy and the First Aid Beauty just doesn't. It really goes on lightly and then it locks in the moisture. And I think that that's the unique quality to it that will keep me coming back for more. But this is not a bad product at all. And a lot of people were like, wait, where are you finding it? They're out of it online. They sell this on Amazon and you can get it delivered like tomorrow. And I also uh, bought with this their serum stick. It's like a rose and maybe sea buckthorn. Was that what it is? I can't remember, but it's this serum stick that you just rub on your face. Granted, I have not been using it as much lately because I did, I was using it to try and get my skin to stop being so stinking dry, but it's really, really nice still. And if like you stick in the refrigerator, oh my gosh, it's just kind of a, it's just kind of a luxury add-on. I don't really feel like it made that big of a difference on my skin because I have oils that I feel like are more effective than that, but it was cute and I'm still gonna use it. But anyway, I'm not gonna repurchase this in the short term, even though I do recommend it, just because I think that the First Aid Beauty's better. Oh, in the same breath as uh, the candle video that I just did, I talked about how I had Milk Rose sent in other products than just the candle, and this is the Moisture Milk. I have not finished the body wash, and that is because this falls into one really annoying category and that is packaging that sucks. You're like, hacky, it's just a pump. This pump will drive you crazy because it goes down, but it doesn't wanna come back up on its own when there's actual product in it. And so it's like, you know, you push it down, you get the product in your hand and then you have to yank the thing back up and then you do it and then you have to yank it back up and that's the way that it is with the body wash and with the lotion. And that is what will keep me from repurchasing this. It's completely empty. I did, you know, pour it out in my hand. The beauty of this 
is just how incredible it smells. God, it smells good. Oh, it's like vanilla rose. Oh, ecstasy. It's wonderful. It's such a good smell. In fact, I didn't know that this lotion and body wash existed. I think that I posted on Instagram. It's the only time they've ever responded to me. And I was like, why don't you have this in body products? And they were like, low key we do. So have you checked the website? And I was like, oh, <laughs> okay, I guess you get more of my money. So I did really love this. I did a giveaway of it on my channel at the beginning of COVID because I felt like it was just such a little self-care moment, but they need to fix the pump. I will only buy more when they fix the pump. It's, it really is crazy making. <laughs> okay. So I ordered a bunch of stuff from Credo. Credo has the best beauty point system going. Honestly, they have such good rewards for their points. Like you're looking at their actual rewards bazaar as they call it on Sephora, and you're like, I can afford that with my points, and it's something that I actually want, and it's not sold out. So I maxed out my points, and I bought a whole bunch of stuff to try, and among it, I tried the Rawa, because I've heard really good things, and it's not super expensive for like a clean beauty shampoo. So I tried the Rawa Classic Shampoo and the Rawa Classic Conditioner for healthy, lustrous hair. I don't like these. They smell like coconut, like a painted colada, and I felt like they dried my hair out. The conditioner was fine, but the shampoo did that thing where my hair all stuck together. And I went back to using Function of Beauty. That's what I'm using right now still, and I do really like it, but I did with my order of Living Proof. I'm not gonna remember that name ever. It's never gonna stick in my brain. The Living Proof spray, I also bought some Living Proof shampoo and conditioner. So I hope they don't have the same crazy over scented issue because they got great reviews on actual performance for volumizing fine hair. So I'm really hoping I like them, but I always fall back on Function of Beauty. The only reason that I'm trying something new is because my hair kind of, when I stopped breastfeeding, kind of lost its luster. And I gave myself a haircut and I do think that that really helped, but like all of my nails broke off. I'm breaking out on my chest again. My hormones just kind of went blah as soon as I stopped breastfeeding. So uh, that's why I'm trying something new. That's beside the point. I didn't really like these and I'm glad that I got a sample of them and it was a nice deluxe sample for me to get like a good week's worth of washing out of it so that I could tell whether I really enjoyed it, but I, I just didn't. I don't like it. Okay, so in the project of working my way through SPFs, this is another one that I had a backup of that I dug out immediately as soon as I finished my Puritos because I didn't want to repurchase Purito until I, actually I was gonna work my way through all of them anyway and then I found out the Purito thing later. So it kind of worked out. Anyway, this is an oldie, but a goodie. Something that I have been using on my channel since it first came out and then it went out of stock for I think almost a year and then it came back in stock. They have had struggles. They have had a tough time keeping this stuff in stock and producing it in any kind of consistent way I feel like is I think it's out of stock again or maybe it just came back in stock. Anyway, this is the Sunday's Seashells Daily Sunscreen. Not to be confused with the Sunday's Sunscreen from that other brand. I'll put it on the screen because I can't remember what it is. But this is SPF 30 broad spectrum. You get two ounces for $30. This is a great product. If you have pretty dry skin, it's very, very dewy. State of Kate over the summer did this exhaustive review of tons of different SPFs on her Instagram stories. And I think that she has highlighted it so that you can go watch them because she did give really, really great reviews on what's good and what's not. I'm not sure we have the same skin type, but she lives on the West Coast. And so she does, I think, you know, have drier air out there. And so she does like to use dewier products. And she loved this too. And I was like, that's one of my favorite sunscreens. And she's like, I'm just now hearing about it. I was like, it keeps going in and out of stock, but it was one of the first ones that I ever tried on my channel. And I love it so, so much. So this is definitely a contender for when I get done working my way through all the super group stuff, I will probably end up repurchasing this. Even if I don't wear it every day, it's a good product to have on hand because it just provides such good protection. Oh, I finally finished this. This is the Big Sexy Hair Powder Play. This particular container lasts for ages because you only want to use a teeny tiny sprinkling of this salt bay style. And you just open her up and this is the little shaker top on here. And I fell in love with this when I was a hairstylist. There are a bunch of other brands that make a product just like this. I know Schwarzkopf makes one, I don't know, but 
It is this funky, I call it like space cheese. It is this little sprinkling that you put very sparingly right at your roots, or you can kind of toss it into your hair and it grips. You wanna get your hair totally styled first before you use it because you're not gonna be able to get a curling iron in it or a flat iron in it or really a brush through it afterwards because it kind of intentionally gums your hair up. But if you want volume that stays, it's freaking incredible. So I just kind of lift a section up like this and I dust it really high up and then it just sort of particulates into my hair. And then you can do like this number and it'll just keep building, building, building. And it makes your hair build on itself in a really, really lovely way that uh, is not something that I can necessarily achieve with anything else with as fine as my hair is. Like I said, use it very, very sparingly, but it's amazing stuff with amazing lift and hold. And it took me ages. I'm talking years to work my way through this bottle. So I will probably repurchase this, but I need to get over to my beauty supply. I haven't been over there since COVID. And so I've been paying full price for everything, but uh, I get a lot of stuff at cost. Big Sexy is uh, carried at my, my beauty supply. Cause like I don't do hair anymore, but that's why I maintain my licenses so that I can still get products at cost. All right, we're getting to the bottom here. I think we, I think this is the last one. This is the last one guys. So this is actually extremely interesting. I'm glad that we're ending on this. So this is the Revage Brightening Cream by Skin Luma. And don't bother Googling it. It doesn't exist. It's not a thing that's on the internet. I was just at my dermatologist last Friday getting my face pumped full of things. <laughs> like you do. And I asked, I was like, guys, when are we going to re-up on this? Because the way that they did this at my, I, this is a dermaceutical and I buy this at my dermatologist's office. And what they do is yes, it's a fantastic formula that has a lot of really great brightening ingredients in it already, but they enrich mine. They custom mix it with uh, Arbitase and retinoic acid. And it is as good as a chemical peel. It is so good and it makes my skin pigmentation disappear. It shrinks my pores. It's miraculous, this stuff, when they mix it for me custom. Now, first of all, when I've mentioned this in my skincare routine videos, people are like, right, okay, it's a miraculous product. How do I get it? And I was like, you can't <laughs> because they don't have a website or anything. But I did a little bit of research. Actually, I did a lot of research and I've been talking to my dermatologist about this for a while. And it's by a company called Young Pharmaceuticals, Young Dermatology, something like that. Young is the name of the company. And they're who makes this and provides this to them. And then they disappeared from the shelves. And I was like, guys, what's going on? on. And then one of the receptionists told me basically the way that they are doing it right now is if a dermatologist's office wants to carry this in their office, they have to establish their own branding and they have to brand it specifically for their office, sell it as that brand and not as Reviage or Young Dermatuticals dermatuticals. That's probably what it is. And that they have to have their own in-house brand for it. So that's what they're working on right now is developing their own in-house branding for this specific product. And then they can stock it on their shelves. Is that not the most bizarre thing you've ever heard in your life? It's crazy. And so I encourage you guys to look in your area and see if people kind of carry this brightening cream that is from Young Dermatuticals and see if you can get it where you are because it has now gone from being very specific to incredibly esoteric. Like it's going to be something that only I can get the specific brand of whatever it is, even though it's the exact same product that tons of other dermatologist offices are gonna be able to carry, but it's gonna be called something different everywhere. Okay, <laughs> but I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> because it's amazing. But I would definitely recommend, I guess, reaching out to that company or looking locally and seeing, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to help, but I have gotten contact information for my particular dermatologist's office. If you want to buy it without any of the mix-ins, once they do get it. And I will provide that once they do get it back in stock or you can DM me, but I mean, you'd just be bugging them at this point because they don't have any even for, for me to get locally. So that was a long winded way of saying that I can't get this right now, but as soon as I can, I am absolutely going to repurchase it. And the price on this, I think without any of the actual customization is like $80, at least at my dermatologist's office. And then when they mix in all the stuff that makes it incredibly potent for me, it is $120. And I know that that sounds crazy for an ounce of product, but this is, I'm going to go ahead and preach for a second. I will try and make this this brief. There is so little point 
in spending a whole lot of money on over-the-counter skincare that has all these claims that are just never going to meet the efficacy of a dermaceutical. Go to a dermatologist, pay the money, and get the results. I would even argue there is a really great dermatologist that someone introduced me to on Instagram recently, and he was like, he was doing this thing called um, No Nuance November, and he recommended, he was like, stop spending all your money on anti-aging, just save up your money and get the Botox. Not everybody wants Botox, so I don't totally agree with that, but if you do want true brightening results, for example, go with a dermaceutical. Go with something that is strong, but also under the supervision of a dermatologist who's going to be able to sometimes even tailor it to you, but at least recommend it and oversee you while you're using it. And I feel like that is the best use of your money, even though like pound for pound, it's more expensive per product, but like we all are guilty of goo hoarding in an effort to try and like reverse aging. And the only products and services that I have ever found to actually be effective for halting that process or even aging in reverse come from a dermatologist's office. So that is my, that is my little preachy spiel on that, on the best ways to spend your money on skincare. And that is why I'm not a skin fluencer is because I have a bag, a shameful bag of skincare that has been sent to me over the years that I will never use. And I'm going to find a place to donate it locally because it's all useless to me in the face of dermaceuticals. So anyway, those are all of my empties from the last eight months, I do believe. I don't think that we've done one recent, more recently than that. So yeah, this was a whole lot and there will be more where this came from. And we're going to, like I will say in some videos throughout the end of this year, I'm gonna try and try and work more towards a mindset of using things up, especially in terms of makeup. And so hopefully we will have more makeup empties going forward. I have definitely found some products that I'm not getting tired of. And so I'll be sharing those guys, those guys with you guys uh, pretty soon in the form of a, like a project pan. And then I might start doing like monthly makeup bags as well. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. Yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep hanging out with me on this channel, hit the button down below and subscribe. I would love it if you guys did. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me today and watching my beauty trash. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.